Well, greetings again and welcome in to a Wednesday edition of Ask the Experts here at AM720 KDWN. Jim Dallas along with Robert Seek from Partel Pharmacy. Check them out, partillpharmacy.com, 702-791-3800. Also two locations here in southern Nevada, 8751 West Charleston, also 5835 Southeastern. Robert, good to see you again. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me on. It's another great show, and I hope we're just going to continue to help people get healthier. Yeah, I tell you what, it's uh, really fast approaching that new year. Get the resolution book out. Now, you also uh, have a guest here uh, tonight, John Kenny from Trim Body MD. You can uh, check him out, trimbodymd.com. Also, his number is 702-489-3300. John, welcome. Thanks for having me. Tell you what, we've got a round table here tonight. We've got a little round table. And Jim, you and I have talked on the show about, you know, what people can do to get healthier. And a lot centers around making interventions to boost their metabolism. Uh, a lot of people first ask us how to get healthier by losing weight. And and at Partel Pharmacy, we work with a number of different physicians and, and clinics that are kind of in this space. And I invited John uh, to be on this show tonight. You know, Trimbody MD does a fair amount of business with us. And, you know, of course, I like that because I own a business. But what I really like about Trimbody MD is the feedback that we get from their clients about how well they do. And primarily what they focused on, at least first, and John will give us some more details, is helping people lose weight. And, you know, Jim, we're coming up toward the, the end of the year. The new year is coming along, and a lot of people are going to ask, well, what do I do after the holidays to lose weight? And, you know, sometimes it's, it's that simple just to get healthier. I can start to quote statistics about what can go wrong cardiovascularly or how much risk you are for developing cardiovascular disease just by measuring your waistline. So it's not all about mm. how we feel, yeah. you know, how much weight we're carrying around. It's not the fat that you can see. What about the fat that's wrapped around the organs that's unhealthy? And, you know, this shifts our body's metabolism. A lot of people have struggled with different methods. I mean, you talk about it diet and everybody's diet. I don't like that term necessarily. That, that does indicate, hey, short term and then I can be off of this and I'm going to be okay. And there's certainly a time and a place for that term. But I like, you know, a company like Trimbody MD starts off with a great program that gets people results right away. So what I like is no frustration. Hey, I'm seeing results. It's a tough program for a short period of time, but getting results, people will get across the finish line. And then uh, I like what John does about keeping them going and getting them healthier Afterwards, so John Kinney on the show, I wanted to introduce him as a guest. And, you know, John, welcome. And you can tell us a little bit about uh, your company and, and uh, how you founded it. Well, I, I like most people, I, I had a weight problem. I wouldn't say it was necessarily a problem. I was just, I've always been fit, been athletic my whole life. Uh, lived in Vegas for a while, started hitting the strip, drinking, eating nice dinners, uh, you know, 10 pounds becomes 20, becomes 30, and you're like, uh-oh, right. what happened? Uh, and then I think what is really uh, symptomatic or the problem with most people trying to lose weight is you, you sign up for the gym. You know, January 1st is universal uh, resolution and sign up for the gym day. And everybody goes to the gym. They want, for the most part, they or they want a, some workout routine that's going to change uh, give them a new beginning, lose the weight they want. And, and what happens, it's, what I found happened is, is, is I didn't get the results. I, I would work out and, and really push myself. And, you know, you feel like you're killing yourself every day for a few weeks. You get on the scale and nothing changed. You know, you felt sore. You felt like you're making progress, you know. And uh, at the end of the day, you, your, your pants weren't getting looser. Uh, and you just weren't getting where you thought you wanted to be, and ultimately you wind up quitting. And that, that is True. what I found the cycle of the gym. You know, you see people sign up right now, and, you know, anyone who's an avid uh, gym goer will tell you, hey, first quarter of the year is the worst time ever because all these people come in wandering around, have no clue what they're doing, and, and then they stop because they're not getting the results. And that was the frustration I had, and so I was looking for another solution. I knew that I, I could eat healthy. I knew that I could uh, maintain uh, a workout regimen, but I wasn't getting where I wanted to be. So I would I would work out, somewhat adjust my diet, but I, you know, when you push yourself in the gym, you feel like you almost get some extra credits to eat. 
Well, at least that's what I found. And, you know, traditionally you were growing up you know, before a football game when I was playing football, our coaches would load us up with pasta and, you know, okay, so I'm going to work out. I worked out really hard. Then I'd go to Cheesecake Factory and have a nice pasta dinner with some chicken. You know, all those carbs and, you know, you, you in retrospect, you look back and realize why it didn't work. Um, but I finally wound up going. I had a friend who went to another doctor in town. I showed up. Uh, I went there and, and they put me on a program and I was committed. I actually started the week before Thanksgiving. I said, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to power through the holidays and I'm going to show myself if I can power through the holidays, the rest of the year is, is easy, right. right? That's traditionally the most amount of uh, the time where you're, you're pigging out and, and, uh, pumpkin th- pie, you know, all mm-hmm. the extras, name sure. it. So I started off Thanksgiving at, at uh, my parents' house with, with the, the leanest diet I think I've ever had. This was about four or five years ago. Um, and I got results. I got results, at, but the problem I didn't get as I, from the place I went, I didn't get the support. You know, and, and half of losing weight is having someone there to, to lean on, to call as a resource, to say, hey, I'm not getting there. And what I found, and it's not an overall indictment of most doctors, but in, in that setting, they write you a script, they give you a program, they cut you loose, and they say best of luck to you. So only the most committed and self-disciplined people are going to get where they want to be, uh, and the rest are going to they're going to feel lost. They're going to call a doctor. Generally, doctors, you know, not many doctors, unless you're paying an exorbitant amount of money, are going to take your phone call. Uh, and a medical assistant or a front office person isn't equipped to answer your questions. Uh, and so you wind up in a, in a situation where you feel alone and you're not getting the results you want. And so you go back and listen, I'm not going to sacrifice all this. I'm going to break my back at the gym. I'm not going to eat nuts and berries every single day. Uh, you know, it's cost benefit. Right, we we sacrifice because for for a reward, and if we don't get that reward, you quit. Right, and so that that's symptomatic with with most weight loss programs, places, and so forth. And um, you know that's what we started. That when I when I started Trim Body MD, I actually partnered up with a guy who was working at this this uh, doctor's office, and and we put something together where we wanted to make sure all those deficiencies I found were addressed. So you're listening to uh, Ask the Experts here at AF720 KDWN. John Kenny is here from Trim Body MD. Uh, you can go to trimbodymd.com, get some more information. Uh, two locations here in town, 9310 Southeastern, 10300 West Charleston. Also uh, with us, Robert Seek from Partel Pharmacy. And uh, you can check him out too, partelpharmacy.com, 702-791-3800. This is the healthy show. That's uh, the way I look at it. Yeah, and, you know, I wanted John to be on here, and I get a lot of questions about weight loss and, you know, for uh, the type of program John does. And we'll go into a little bit of uh, detail about it because listeners want to know, say, okay, well, it's a program. You know, I want them to hear what John had to say about their support there. And uh, I've had patients or clients come in and say, I've heard about this company, Trim Body MD, and they're, they have a weight loss program, you know, and they, they use this hormone called HCG. You see it advertised for weight loss. Um, you know, the HCG, you really can't say, well, HCG causes weight loss. It's part of a, of a program. And of course, we make the HCG for uh, Trim Body MD and a number of other clinics as well. But, you know, this is the feedback that I get and why I refer uh, clients to, uh, to John is, you know, patients say, I need to start a program. I need results. That's exactly what he said. If you eat right and go to the gym, you'll get results and you'll, you'll kind of get them slow. But, well, let me tell you something about somebody who may be, well, like John said, if you have weight sneak up on you 10 pounds a year, well, what if it's five years later and you're 50 pounds overweight? I mean, that happens. It does. If you're 50 pounds overweight, you're not necessarily going to be that motivated to be in a gym. Some of them look like just nothing more than a nightclub with weights. Okay. Right. To be around other people that are generally fit. I've been to a gym and I've rarely seen somebody that is really overweight. And what was really um, an important day in my mind, I'm at a gym in Southern California with a, a sales representative I used to work in, work with when I worked in the drug industry. And we were at a gym in L.A. It's all fit people. And there was a woman there that had to weigh 250 pounds at least. And, uh, you know, my colleague looked over there and said, wow, you know, she's uh, uh, really 
got a trainer on, but it looks like she's struggling. I said, yeah, but you know what? Imagine how brave it has to be for her to just be here, for her to show up. So right. John's program, and I think if we have to take a break, we can, but I want to talk a little bit about the details because I get these questions as a pharmacist. Well, what is this program like that gives us such a jump start? All right, we'll uh, get to that on the other side of this uh, brief timeout. You're listening to Ask the Experts here at AM720 KDWN. Robert Seek from Parchel Pharmacy is here. Parchelpharmacy.com, 702-791-3800. Also his uh, special guest, John Kinney from TremBodyMD.com. You can uh, check him out there as well. We'll take a break and continue. You're listening to Ask the Experts here at AM720 KDWN. This is Ken Thompson from SportsX Radio, inviting you to join me each and every night, Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 p.m., right here, 50,000 watt, AM 720, KDWN, for the greatest in sports talk, breaking down all the games. SportsX Radio, Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 p.m., sponsored by Canna Race and Sportsbooks. Hi, this is Jerry Doyle. Catch my friends John Burnett and Elisa Grassi on Daybreak Vegas, weekdays at 5 a.m., right here on KDON, where no subject is out of bounds. Rebel air conditioning and heating does it right. Call Joe the AC guy. He's ready day or night. Hi, Joe the AC guy here from Rebel Air Conditioning and Heating, proudly serving the Las Vegas Valley for over 18 years. Whether your AC is on the fritz, you just need maintenance, or a whole new system, we're the guys to call. So pick up the phone. 702-734-7750. Rebel Air Conditioning and Heating. License number 46742. Attention large and small business owners. How long does it take you to get over 5,000 women in your business ready to buy or sample your product? If your answer is longer than one afternoon, listen up. Divas Day Out, Las Vegas' largest women's event, returns to the South Point Hotel and Casino on Saturday, January 24th with a special appearance by Derek Huff from Dancing with the Stars. If you want to participate as a vendor and get your business in front of over 5,000 women in one day, log on to DivasDayOutLV.com. That's DivasDayOutLV.com and click on the Vendor tab. Hurry, vendor space is limited. Now back to KDWN's Ask the Expert Hour. Have a question? Call now, 702-257-KDWN. That's 702-257-5396. All right, welcome back. It is Ask the Experts here at AM720 KDWN. That is the phone number. If you have a, a question for our panel tonight, Robert Seek from Partill Pharmacy is here, partillpharmacy.com, 702-791-3800, his number, two locations, 8751 West Charleston, also 5835 Southeastern. And, of course, so we do have a, a special guest, John Kinney, from uh, Trim Body MD, and you can check him out, trimbodymd.com. A lot of people out there are trying to lose weight, aren't they? Yeah, and, you know, and Jim, before the break, we were talking about People asking us questions about programs like John's at, at Trimbody MDs. And, and I had mentioned to you, you know, I, I find a lot of usefulness, especially if you have somebody who's afraid to start out by going to the gym. Maybe they don't know what to do. They don't want to hire a trainer. And, you know, honestly, maybe they're just em embarrassed and would prefer to say, you know, get started by losing 20 or 30 pounds first. And I'd mentioned that, you know, uh, John's program at Trimbody MD uses as, as part of the program a hormone called HCG. And if people have heard about it or might be familiar with it, it's basically there's a there's a period of caloric restriction and you really eliminate the fats from the diet, okay? And, and your food consumption is low, but the hormone HCG does a couple basic things. It suppresses your appetite, okay? But it also preferentially helps your body burn fat so you don't lose lean mass muscle and sometimes bone, but you lose the fat mass and you lose it rapidly. I mean, I'll talk about it later. I had an experience on, on the program too. And I tell people, you know, I'm going to have John walk us through what it's typically like for a program. But what I like about it is if you're going to make a resolution and you're going to get started, I like John's method, jump starting through the holidays. You show up to gym January 1st, you're already maybe 20 or 30 pounds lighter. What a jump start, right? It is. But uh, I, I like it because you can watch weight 
come off rapidly. If you are coached properly, you're going to be supported through what might be tough times and then come out on the other end ready to get even healthier, which is what our program is all about, how to get healthier. So I wanted to toss it back to John and say, okay, John, the patient wants to sign up and they say, okay, I'm, I'm kind of interested in that. I can lose weight before getting to the gym. I can lose a lot of weight. You know, Robert has mentioned maybe 20 or 30 pounds. Uh, but how do we start this protocol? And you talk to us about the support at your clinic that you offer. That's what I like about Trim Body MD so much. So walk us through what the process is for a patient, John. So when you come into the clinic, we, we have a, a machine called an in-body. You stand on there and it analyzes your body fat, your lean muscle mass, your extracellular water. It gives you a big rundown of actually how much dry lean mass you have and how much body fat you have, and then gives you a body fat percentage. And it gives gives our diet coaches and, and uh, physicians a, a starting point at which to, to analyze. And Robert talks about HCG. It's one. Of, it's my favorite method. Uh, we have two that that are that are the most effective in my uh, opinion. That'd be the ideal protein diet, and that would be HCG. HCG uh, is my favorite, and and really what it comes down to with HCG, as Robert said, it burns the preferential fat and it saves the muscle. And and one thing that a lot of the naysayers about HCG will say, uh, anyone on a low calorie diet is going to lose weight. Uh, so it doesn't matter whether you have the hormone or not. Well, what we prove to the patient along the process, along the way, is when we put you on this machine every week, and we require you to come in every week to get the results of how you've done. Because you have your personal scale at home, which I I, I make sure everybody weighs in daily. Uh, but then you have our scale; it's going to analyze your body fat, and we prove to you on that scale that your your lean muscle mass either stays the same or increases and your fat goes down. And once right. you see that, you know, as, as Robert said, to me, weight loss is, it's all about the proof, right? Results. We're an instant gratification society. That's why drive throughs are around. Everything is instant, instant, instant. Um, what HCG does that's most impressive is you start losing right away. You know, the, the, the tagline, if you will, is you lose about a pound a day. Right. Uh, and it, it usually works out that way uh, for most men get those results right away. Uh, women are anywhere from a half pound to a pound. But th what's great about it is you start losing right away. And there's a three-step three, three step process that, that I tell everyone happens is first, you have your personal scale at home. Every morning you wake up, you drop a pound on average. Uh, and as you see that every day, you wake up in the morning, you lose another pound. Wake up another day, you wake, lose another pound. You st it becomes this to a point, especially in my experience, when I did, I couldn't wait to wake up the next morning because I felt like, man, this is right. magic. Uh, I felt good. I wasn't hungry. A and then the second part, uh, you can lose weight and people say, oh, maybe it's water weight, this, that, and the other. But the second part and the most important part is now all of a sudden your pants are starting to get loose. You know, your belt right. takes another notch, uh, another notch tighter. Uh, and then the third thing, which is which bolts everybody on and, you know, you lose the cravings uh, is when a coworker, a loved one or someone else says, hey, are you losing weight? And, you know, then, then it all clicks, and, and it, you, you go along your way. It's exactly what you want to hear. You're listening to Ask the Experts here at AM720 KDWN. Uh, John Kenny is here from uh, Trend Body MD. And as you were talking, uh, John, I, I was thinking, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but muscle, the, the, the lean muscle that we're talking about here, it, it weighs a little more than fat. Is that true, or is that rumor? Well, you know, I use models actually at the pharmacy, Jim. And uh, if you've ever seen, I mean, some people have seen on TV, a model for what five pounds of fat looks like, it, it's about the size of a football. Five pounds of muscle is about the size of a baseball. And I talked with a physician, a friend of mine out of Ohio, and, and he said sometimes what he does to reinforce to people how much weight they have to lose. Okay, so I told you we can predict chronic disease by looking at just waist circumference he would tell me he would put on a squeaky metal cart not just one model of that five pounds of fat but if he had somebody who was literally 50 pounds overweight he would put 10 of them on the cart he'd mm -hmm. leave the patient's waiting room door open and he had a tile floor square tile so you hear this squeaky cart with the wheels clacking against the grout you know the tile connections and he'd roll it in and talk to the patient and say well uh, you want to get healthier, you got high blood pressure and your cholesterol is through the roof. Uh, I, th I think where we need to start is lose weight. And, you know, 
you are about 50 pounds overweight, so this is how much extra fat you have on your body. You think you should lose some of those? And patients say, yeah, you know, I've never, well, you know, maybe we don't get all 10 off you, but let's start with five. And, you know, when clients are asking me about a program like John's at, at Trim Body MD, and, you know, John mentioned sometimes there's people that are naysayers about using the hormone HCG, you know, th this is my take on it. Say, well, it's calorie restriction. That's a strain on the body. Well, you know, sure it is. Okay, you, you, you might want to use some vitamins along the way. I know they do that with their nutrition coaches. Uh, it's a strain, but if you only got to target somebody for, say, 30 days or 23 or 40 days, I think is the common range, hey, you can focus for that long, especially if, like John saying, you're losing that almost a pound a day. You get the results, and uh, what I really liked about uh, his program, and you know, we can talk about this more in detail, is we were asking John to detail us on the steps, and he just glossed over it, but it's not a small thing. You have coaches. You have coaches that make the patients check in. And that's when I'm talking, well, can I really go to this program and do it when a client asks me? And I say, yes, you can. You can do it for the 23 or the 40 days. Just focus. You'll be motivated because you're losing weight, exactly what John says. But they're going to make you accountable and check in. What do you weigh right. in on the scale every month? you got to come in and get your body fat measured. And you have a nutrition coach that will tell you, well, what if you didn't lose that pound in a particular day? I think, John, you have nutrition coaches that will say, well, what were you eating? What didn't you eat? Did you cheat? You know, that accountability makes a big difference, right? 100%. It, it is. It, I think it's it's what sets us apart from everyone else in town. We require, we actually have the patient sign a success contract uh, that says mm -hmm. they are going to text their body weight to their diet coach every morning. Uh, it, it keeps both of us accountable. You know, I, I can right. get in a situation where some of the, the diet coaches we have, if they lose track of the patient, then it's our fault. You know, because again, weight loss is a very sensitive personal issue. And if we're not on top of them, we could lose them. And you have a, as Robert says, hey, what if you, you gained a pound? And we have people do that. Well, right. if you text me in the morning and yesterday was 150 and today it's 151, I'm going to say, uh oh. And all of our diet coaches do the same. What happened? Tell me about what you ate. Tell me exactly what you had yesterday. And they'll say, I, I ate exactly, okay, you know, and sometimes we'll say, what kind of salad, what kind of salad dressing did you use? Oh, low fat ranch. Eh, can't use it. So, yeah, Ran know, ranch is even low fat. Uh, it, is not it's not good. acceptable on our program at yeah, all. And right. so what happens is, is when people get in this mode, they, you know, making your meals, which is the, the we can talk about even more later, is the most important part of any diet, I don't care what anybody gives you, any kind of medication, any kind of regimen, it's all about the food. You know, so if I tell you to, to make four ounces of protein and two cups of vegetables and, and you make, you go to a restaurant, don't you have them give you eight ounces of, of filet and you have a salad with all sorts of other vegetables in it and a little bit of dressing, you, you, you fell off track. Yeah, we still have a uh, couple of minutes before we uh, take our uh, bottom of the hour break. We're uh, speaking with John Kenny from Trimbody MD. You can check him out at TrimbodyMD.com. Also, Robert Seek, our uh, regular here on uh, Wednesday nights on the uh, Ask the Expert show from uh, Partill Pharmacy, PartillPharmacy.com. We're just trying to figure out a, a great way to start the new year and, and get back in shape. And obviously, uh, a regimen of... Uh, uh, definitely exercise and and reduce the fats and get rid of the, the, the sugar and the flour and that type of thing in your diet, right? Well, we've talked about that, Jim, and, you know, getting, you know, inverting that food pyramid. So what I've talked to you about, the kind of nutritional program that I've advocated to uh, listeners, typically comes after you've gone through a program like John's. And I know they have a really good follow-up program too. And you're right. The primary thing is, I think, get the sugar and the starches, those carbs out of the diet. But when you're on a program that uses the HCG, uh, it's very important to have no fat intake because your body will metabolize that and right. use it. No, you want the body to be burning its own fat because people right. say, well, calorie restriction, there's no more energy in the body. Well, yeah, there is. There's about 3,000 calories worth of energy in every one pound of fat. Okay, uh, so you can you have to tell the body to shift and what you know the hormone hcg does and this was written back in the 1950s right uh you know it can really shift your metabolism do a great job a lot of information and uh, we're going to cover it on the second half of the show it is ask the experts here at am 720 kdwn we're speaking with the robert seek from partial pharmacy check him out partialpharmacy.com 702-791-3800 also we'll hear again from uh, john kenny from trim body md 
www.ask.com. Back in a few. All right, welcome back to Ask the Experts here at AM720 KDWN. Jim Dallas here along with Robert Seek from Partel Pharmacy. Check him out, partillpharmacy.com, 702-791-3800 is the phone number. We're talking about getting healthy for a brand new year. It's a fantastic time to do that. Now, before we took our uh, break there at the uh, bottom of the hour, uh, Robert, you, you kind of glanced over the the program itself, but I, I know you do have a, a program that's in-depth. Well, actually, what I, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, what I mentioned quickly. I had actually done a program. Uh, that's very similar to exactly what John offers at Trim Body MD, and this is this is before John and I met, and we're talking about you know the burning of fat at up to a pound a day. Uh, I mean, it's pretty rapid. You do a calorie restricted, zero fat diet, and I, like a lot of people, was was a skeptic, and I had met a physician actually at a seminar that I had hosted, and I knew that this was a big part of his practice in L.A. And he said, "Well, why are you skeptical?" Ah, you know calorie restriction. It's going to strain on the people. He says, well, let me tell you something. He says, what is unhealthier for this patient to continue to be overweight or to go on a program where they should be monitored very closely? It's what I do in my practice, he said to me. He says, uh, go through a program and lose the weight rapidly. He says, and you, by the way, now I didn't have a pot belly ever in my life, never did, but he grabbed me on the back of the waist above my belt and he says, you feel that? And I said, yeah. He says, this is the hardest fat to lose on a guy. He says, you probably have 10 pounds too much of it. I did a body composition analysis, and as an athlete, I typically run my body fat percentage at about 10 or 12%, eight if I was training for an event, right. and I was at 22. And I said, wow. okay. He says, well, why don't you do the program and be a believer since you, instead of a skeptic rather than argue? So I, I started the program. There's an induction phase. You go the low calorie phase and with zero fats. And I was losing the weight. And the way I was in contact daily, just like John does at Trim Body MD, you know, I had to report in daily my weight. I was monitored closely. If, uh, you know, I didn't lose weight a particular day, a nurse was on the phone with me. Somebody saying, well, you know, why not? Did you get enough fiber in your diet or not? Oh, I'm hungry. I shouldn't be hungry, right? Well, what did you do wrong? And uh, so I, I did, I got really lean. And what was great after is uh, what happened after I finished the program. So I finished the program and actually he actually upped my calorie intake near the end because he didn't want me to lose too much fat. Okay. He just says, okay, well, the client like you, it's this individualized program, you know, like John does at Trim Body MD, not just hand you a handbook and a prescription right. and say, good luck. And he says, I want you to up your calorie count. I don't want you to lose any more fat. And what happened afterwards, so I got from that 22% body fat down to about 11. That was rapid. And then I went back into the gym because you don't want to exercise very heavily when you're on a program like this. That's one of the good things about it, right? You don't have to be afraid or conscious about going to the gym. But when I did go to the gym, I felt like I had more energy. I was stronger. I got leaner, faster, and it was effortless for me to get down to 8% body fat. And I also took all the coaching tips that, that my doctor gave me, and they use the same ones at Trim Body ND. Patients come in and say, wow, I lost weight. We comment on that, and they say, I also learned what... What food is? Yeah, f you know what, f Robert? Food doesn't come in a box bag or a can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They also learn what portion control is. Say, hey, I don't need these 13-inch plates at home anymore. I don't order the 18-ounce porterhouse. Hey, I like going to a steakhouse. But what, uh, what my wife and I do is we'll go and we'll order a big steak. We'll split it and we we'll each get a big salad because I didn't need so much food anymore. And that was my experience with a program that's just like uh, John's is at, over uh, at Trim Body MD. And I think that answers the question, Jim. And if I missed any fine points on that, John, why don't you comment on your program during and, and then the after? That's what patients comment to me about when they come to the pharmacy. You know, yeah, that's our, our main concern is 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 our the success of the patient. It's it's uh, one of the toughest things to do is to lose the weight and and keep people motivated because there are setbacks. There's there's life happens, right? You you uh, leave your medicine out, it gets warm, and now you you have a setback or you have a birthday party and and somehow you have a drink because your friends get you into it and and uh, you eat a piece of cake and and you feel i failed and and i i suffer from this the most because when i i work with a lot of patients uh, and a lot of them are my friends and a lot of times i'm 
overzealous and I feel like I have to temper myself and, and right. sometimes I, I need to let them know it's okay to tell me you, met, you made a mistake. If you, if you screw it up, it's okay. We can fix it. It's not a big deal. But I get in a situation where sometimes, you know, they're afraid to call me because they, they, didn't, uh, they didn't follow the program one day. But the beauty of having a diet coach attached to you that you have to report to daily is once you get that relationship, you can you can solve the problem and get right. where you where you want. And then the the second hardest part about all of this is is the food. Uh, if if you don't know how to prepare food, which I think I represent a lot of our community and and probably uh, people across the nation, I work a lot of hours. I'm very busy. And I eat out and I ate out. And I think that was one of the problems I had when I did gain yeah. some weight is, you know, it, no restaurants simply now they are currently starting to have their low calorie menus and so forth. Right. But they just weren't geared to give you a healthy meal or a low calorie meal. We live in a, a claim jumper cheesecake factory uh, where they give you a plate that's enough for a family of five. And, you know, we've been oh, can, yeah. it's especially here in Vegas. Uh, I've seen places where just a a little appetizer it's like 3000 calories just in an appetizer i mean yeah. that's what we're dealing with and that's why a lot of people uh, are 50 pounds overweight yeah and when we, we mentioned it off air you asked if uh the restaurant i have is is puts the calories on well now i know in california i think the movements come into to nevada as well they're they're actually uh, mandating that you post calories because once you see that once you see yeah. you know i saw it for the first time a few years ago in california i went to the movie theater and i saw a large popcorn and it showed the calories and i almost i was like oh my gosh yeah it clicks belief. you get why you're having this problem right but back back to the diet the the, the most important thing uh, in in the success of these diets is the food and and i started a, a restaurant because of Trimbody MD, it's called Greens and Proteins, and we actually, for someone like me who, who can't cook, you know, can't really go to a restaurant and deal with the special preps, we'll actually prepare the meals for you, and 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 narrow it down to the four ounces, precisely measured. You never have to worry about the restaurant you're going to accidentally putting butter in it, and and it's really helped a lot of patients. Uh, conversely, someone like Robert who who likes to cook. Uh, it helps people like that who who they get home and now they're measuring and they become they they find different ways to spice you know they'll call our diet coach or text the diet coach hey am I allowed to use this spice can I use this and they come up with creative ways to to eat healthier uh, and and then after it's done like Robert said the most important most people say about any diet okay I can lose it because I can go on phenamine I can go on all these diets and I can lose it because most people right. have most right. people have gone on a diet and they lost mm -hmm. the weight well what happens after Right, most people gain it back, and that's been the the cyclical yo-yo diet they talk about. You know the it, symptoms, right? It's the way it works. Absolutely, you're listening to Ask the Experts here at AM seven twenty KDWN. Robert Seek here from Partel Pharmacy, PartelPharmacy dot com. Also seven zero two seven nine one thirty eight hundred. His number, uh, John Kenny, our uh, special guest from Trim Body MD. You can check him out too. TrimBodyMD.com. dot com. That's the big thing. Uh, of trying to discipline yourself where you don't sneak in that uh, snack or, or that piece of pie or, or maybe uh, uh, some alcohol, like you say. Well, it's, uh, you know, I got a couple of comments on that here. Like, you know, John's right. I'm pretty disciplined. I cook at home. When I, when I did the program, Greens and Proteins restaurant wasn't available, okay? And uh, I had to cook a few meals in advance. I was eating a lot of the same thing over and over just to make sure that I had it available because if I went home or finished work and I was hungry, I was really tempted to have an excursion. And uh, I did a really mean thing, my dad and sister say, so they both live in Pennsylvania. Sister lives with my dad now, and I was so happy when I got my good, really lean results after the program. I referred them to a physician, and, and they did the program too. My dad's very disciplined, but halfway through his program, came out to Las Vegas and said, you know, son, all of my favorite restaurants that you take me to, they don't have this food that's available and john's greens and proteins wasn't available yet he says but right. we still went out to those restaurants i just had the chefs cook something that was compliant while i'm eating the thing that dad really wanted to eat and then when he was gone during his trip my sister back home in pennsylvania she actually gained weight so this is the important thing about being disciplined and having a coach and knowing what you're doing on this program because she said well I cheated a little bit, but I think what was bad was I cheated every day. And I said, well, how did you cheat every day? Well, I only had like 
one or two slices of pizza every day at this little hometown pizzeria we every have. Every day. And I said, well, sister, yeah. I said, I know they're small pieces, but first of all, it's the worst that you could have done. Lots of fats on the pizza with the cheese and the pepperoni, lots of carbohydrates. And you see what happened? If you do this program right, you lose the weight rapidly. Fat, because that's what HCG does. Helps you burn the fat and suppress your appetite. But when that hormone's on board and you don't eat properly, you can get, actually gain weight and gain it rapidly. Because when my physician friend of mine, the last thing he told me before I started, and he, I had a thorough coaching, he said, you know, um, almost like John has as a contract, he says, if, if you don't lose weight, Robert, it's your fault. And I really looked at him, he says, yeah. He says, this program works. The only thing that doesn't work is if you don't do what you're told. And he was absolutely right. That accountability that I had to something to help me he says, you know, he's right. If I if I don't make this work, it's it's my fault. I think you talked about cheating on the uh, diet and and cheating every day. Obviously, that's not a wise idea. But I think a lot of people would like to have a reward, maybe one day a week. It, it, do you find that that is uh, commonplace, John? It's. I think people would like a reward daily. It's, it's yeah. how we've conditioned ourselves. Uh, we we stress not to. It's a short amount of time to lose a lot of weight, get the results you want. And I, what I want to be clear of, and, and I know you know, I firmly believe in the lifestyle change that's that comes after this. And and once most people that we work with experience this success, they start adjusting their diet naturally. And one thing right. I tell everyone, the we'll keep you in line no matter what you eat to a degree is when you eat and you become full, stop eating. What we've done, again, in dressing the, the cheesecakes and the, and the claim jumpers, is we've been conditioned as children. Our parents says, clean, the, clean your right. plate. Yeah, You're the not people leaving are starving in you, Africa, yeah. All that stuff, well, it, it, you, you, you look back and you see, wow, that really was, uh, uh, we, got, we got shortchanged by our parents. All right, we'll uh, get to uh, that thought in uh, just a few minutes. You're listening to Ask the Experts here at AM720 KDWN. Robert Seek is here from Partel Pharmacy, partelpharmacy.com, 702-791-3800. Special guest John Kenny from trembodymd.com. Back in a few. All right, welcome back. It is Ask the Experts here at AM720 KDWN. Jim Dallas here along with Robert Seek from Partel Pharmacy, partelpharmacy.com. Check him out there, 702-791-3800. And uh, I, I wanted to uh, ask you here, Robert, because you, you do have that program and we are trying to get healthy. We definitely would like to start the new year of, on a positive. How do we do that? Well, you know, we've talked about it before on the radio show. Uh, you know, people ask me, say, well, you talked a lot about eating much better. And, you know, we get it. Getting the sugars and the high starchy, you know, the grain based carbohydrates out of the diet difficult, but we'll will do that and and people say to me well you know do I have to do that all the time and and I told you about my experience going through a, a program that used uh, HCG similar to what they do at Trim Body MD and and I was instructed to be very disciplined and I gave you the story also how my sister when she did the program she wasn't disciplined and actually gained weight and that's kind of like if you're going to use this as the starting point for the first of the year after the first of the year or, or whenever start now like John did over the holidays uh, you have to be very focused and disciplined during the diet, then uh, during the program at Trim Body. And then afterwards, you do want to have a much healthier eating plan. That's what you and I have talked about, healthier right. eating plan. And you've asked me before, well, do you do this all the time, Robert? And I say, well, I still live. It's not that I never have a piece of pizza. Right. I, don't ever, I don't ever eat half a pizza. And I'm kind of a five out of seven guy. You know, if I can do five out of seven days of the week really good with my diet or if that's too much for me and I look at, well, five out of seven meals and the other two are just not so great or not so healthy, I've maintained a pretty healthy body composition. And like they do at Trim Body MD, and I'll let John expand on this because I know that they this is their philosophy. Well, let's say you're finished with the program, you're trying to stay healthy, but you have a... A weekend where it was pizza and beer and cake and you weigh the scale Monday morning you know that's a new habit you gain on this program and you're two or three pounds heavier what uh, what you know I've heard coaches say what they recommend say well 
you can get rid of that weight fast so it doesn't sneak up on you. And what I particularly do is I do a protein shake fast that particular day. I have nothing but a protein shake mixed with water, no milk, no almond milk. I have a protein shake in the morning and nothing the rest of the day except water. And I have a reasonable meal in the evening, which is a big salad and a reasonable portion of protein. You know what? I probably lose one, two, or all three of those pounds in that one day. So if you jump on it, it doesn't sneak up on you. And I think we were talking during the break off, off air, you know, similar. What, what John's coach is doing, his whole program is about with the patients during and then, and then after. So one thing we tell every patient, I'm, I'm a huge believer in this, is, is from now for the rest of your life, just like you brush your teeth, step on the scale before you get in the, the shower. It's something that cognitively speaking, uh, your brain locks onto. And if you get on that scale and you're averaged 180 pounds and all of a sudden you, you pop to 185, uh, you don't want anyone to come neurotic about it. But at the end of the day, you now you're, uh-oh, you know what? I did drink a lot last night and I had some really bad food. And so in my mind, I'm going to adjust my diet the next day. And I believe really that's what life is about is uh, like Robert said, you have to live, you have to enjoy right. your life. Uh, you know, some people get satisfaction out of eating nuts and berries for the rest of their life, but it's, it's not realistic to ask people in our society right now uh, to eat like that. You know, we want, we need pleasure. We're, we're, that's, uh, we're driven that way. And, um, after the program, we we offer all sorts of maintenance programs and so forth. We give you a diet to maintain. But the beautiful part about this and most people that when, once they're finished with the program, uh, one, they become fuller faster. They don't they don't have that. Their, their stomach has adjusted to their sense of satiety is is more clear. And to simplify that, it's it's almost like the sensors in your stomach. You've cleared the gook out of them. And so now when you eat something, it triggers your brain a lot faster to say, hey, right. we're full. And as I tell everybody, stick, stay with that. Listen to your brain. Our body takes care of us in every other way, right? You get something in your eye, your eye starts to water. Your skin's dry, it kicks out some oil. Well, your body should take care of your weight. The only thing is we control that. We stuff our face so much past a, fa uh, a point where we should, that we, we get it we get a deficit and when you have a deficit it's not like a gas tank if you put too much gas in your in your car the gas spills onto the ground we put too much gas or fuel inside of us it stacks on our hips our butt our legs and everywhere else we don't want it and so yeah. that's something you just have to be cognizant of and, and and after after you get the the point you want uh, point the weight set point where you want you really take care of yourself by just have, being cognizant of that you're listening to ask the experts here at am 720 kdwn just a few minutes left here with robert seek of park Hill pharmacy and uh, john kenny of trim body md i think that is true where the the stomach does shrink a little bit the 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 fewer amount of calories that you take in right john i don't know if that it actually shrinks it does it it, it just uh, adjust, if you will. Like I said, the sensors become uh, more yeah. unclogged, if you will. And so yeah. you f those sensors are what tells you whether you're full or not. So it, it ex ex expands and contracts to at some point, but the overall feeling most of our patients get is that because they've eaten so clean and what the HCG actually does and it resets your hypothalamus, it gives you a, a, a better sense of satiety. And when you feel like you're, right. you, you're full, and you stop eating, you're going to manage your, your weight a lot better moving forward. I think ultimately, though, it is up to the individual to stick to that diet and uh, complement that with exercise. Diet and exercise is the, the main key. I you know, just want people to, to move. I mean, you don't really do a lot of heavy exercise, or I, I don't know if they recommend much at all when you're on the, that program, the heavily calorie-restricted program. But, you know, you're right. We know the basics of what they are to live healthier. And I think that if, uh, you know, the Trim Body ND program can be a great starting point for a lot of people and then just realize that you, you don't have to be so daunted by the fact that, wow, my, my life is going to be nothing but dark green leafies and organic chicken the rest of my life. No, you, you have to balance it. And like John says, you know, there's a number of different ways the program is beneficial because I learned what portion size is. I learned when I was full. We've also talked on the show before, Jim, you got to chew when you eat. And the things that make you feel full, like some of the basics, we even re-mentioned again today, get bulk in your diet because you need to be eating lots of green leafies and not the french fries and pastas and right. so much of that anymore right so the green leafies will make you feel full they're bulking and fats fats that are healthy those are you know two of the things that signal to the brain hey you've eaten 
There's bulk in your in your stomach. Uh, we've got some healthy fats on board that makes your brain happy, literally. Uh, and, you know, I think that'll be two of the strategies that help keep the weight off for the long term. I think uh, a lot of people are going to be attracted to the smoothies that you were talking about where you could lose uh, a couple, two, three pounds just in one day by basically drinking the smoothie and fasting. Well, it's got to be the right shake. It's got to be the right. You can't have too much uh, sugar. Okay? Right. Yeah. You know, I use protein powder in water. Uh, you know, things like that. And I do make some vegetable blended drinks, but you know, that's just one method I use. We, we had another episode of the show. Well, if people want to do one thing that just start feeling better and losing weight, well, if you're eating bagels, waffles, cereal, bread, toast, all that stuff for breakfast in the morning, get rid of that and just change it out for a protein shake. Uh, you know, and I know that they got them over at greens and proteins. They got yeah. protein shakes. I'll just be honest. John's my friend and he knows that my green regime juice bar was inspired by his juice bar at greens and proteins, which I, I still patronize. And I got a wellness right. drink there today. It was the most nutrient dense drink that they have there. Uh, but John's right too. More and more healthy options are becoming available. And I think it's going to be easier for people to pursue them. Well, let's uh, get the uh, particulars out there so you can contact John Kenny at Trim Body MD. TrimBodyMD.com. Also, two locations, 9310 Southeastern, 10300 West Charleston, 702-489-3300. Trim Body MD. Also, I want to thank Robert Seek for uh, coming in here again as well on Ask the Experts. Partial Pharmacy, partialpharmacy.com, 702-791-3000.